Welcome to Going Bananas. We have a five acre banana plantation in the, in the Redlands, in Homestead. We came up here today to Bayview Park. We've been coming here now for about six years and we have been well received. As you can see, I've sold out of just about all the plants. At our nursery, we have 90 different varieties of banana plants, of which I brought about 25 varieties today. Banana plants are monocots, meaning they grow up, bear fruit, and die. And here in the Keys, that all happens within about 16 to 17 months. When you plant the banana plant in the ground, it's not by the season, but by the age of the plant. When the plant is about six months old, it puts out one or two daughters. When the plant is about a year old, it puts out a flower. It doesn't put out the flower until it is exhausted, putting out all the foliage, usually about 50 to 60 leaves. Preceding the flower is a little short leaf and it's like a flag. And once it flowers, then we're eating the fruit within about four months. Once the flower comes out, it gets longer, heavier, it hangs down, and then these red leaves called bracts lift out and then there's a hand of fruit. It makes so many hands of fruit, then it aborts, and then the male flowers continue on down the stem. Once you see that flower come out the top, you take your knife and you write the date on the trunk. That way, when you decide, when we look at the fruit and we say the fruit's nice and fat, it's just beginning to turn yellow, you refer to that date. If it's been over four months, then you go ahead and harvest the fruit. When the fruit is hanging on the plant, it's a plant, not a tree. It's the largest plant without a woody stem. The fruit always points up. So what we do, we decide to harvest the fruit, we cut off the bunch, the entire bunch, we invert it, hang it up in a cool place like this where I have it today, out of the sun, in the shade where there's a breeze. As it ripens, it's emitting ethylene gas, and we want it to blow away. If we allow that fruit to ripen under the plant, it ripens so quickly it splits the fruit. If we let it ripen slowly off the plant, then it goes from starch to sugar slower and the fruit is much tastier. If it ripens on the plant, it's not quite as tasty. Once you harvest the fruit, you cut the plant down to about four feet. Now it's a reservoir of water feeding the daughters. About two weeks later, it turns to mush, cut it off even with the ground. During that period of time, it puts out one or two daughters hence the next bunch, the next generation. What we're trying to, occur, to do is allow four plants per location that we call a mat. And of the four plants, if we could stagger it so we have four different heights, one just coming out of the ground, two sizes in between, and then one with fruit. When the fifth plant comes into the mat, gets about waist high, sever the relationship from mother, go right down the trunk, cut, make a separation, pull it out of the ground, have the hole ready, plant it in the ground, you don't miss a beat. Bananas like, well, in addition to feeding them, bananas like a lot of sun, so plant them in full sun. They like a lot of water, so we water them often so when you touch the soil it's moist. We fertilize them once a month. We start off you plant it in the ground to the depth of the pot. When you dig a hole for a tropical plant, particularly bananas, whatever comes out of the hole goes back. Once it puts out two new leaves, we begin fertilizing monthly. The first application is a handful. Get yourself an 11-ounce coffee can. It holds two pounds. So, first application, a handful. Month later, half a can. A month later, a full can. And then thereafter, a full coffee can full of fertilizer every month is just right. It keeps the plant healthy and gives you a nice, healthy bunch. Is that for the whole mat or each plant? That's for the whole mat. That's basically the amount for one to four plants. Where they grow bananas commercially, they just do two plants because they want very large bunches. But this would be just right. The analysis we recommend is 6 to 12. The significance is the 12, the last number, potassium. Bananas give us potassium and they need potassium in return. So if we give them a lot of sun, a lot of water, a lot of fertilizer, limited plants, 
they will do very well and fr thrive and you get lots of fruit. That flower on the very end, you, some people say you remove it. Technically, if you take that off, it does take a little bit of energy from the fruit development, but if you're fertilizing on a regular basis, that's not necessary. I leave it because it looks more whole. People from the Philippines or Indonesia, that's eaten as a vegetable. On the end of the fruit is actually the female flowers. On the very end, those are the male flowers. So you can see we have male and female on each bunch, but on bananas, Pollination is not necessary on the ones we eat out of hand. It's a process called parthenocarpy. Banana fruit without pollination. So you can see bananas are very healthy, bananas are very fast, bananas are very easy to grow. So if you just do some of the things that we have talked about today, you'll be a very successful banana grower. Here I sell my plants for $20. For $20 you get a plant which produces two or three more plants and you get a bunch of fruit. If your bananas that you hang in a cool place are ripening too soon, then take them down and remove the hands from the stem. Lay it on a, on a table where there's a fan. It blows away the ethylene gas. If they still continue to ripen too fast, take them into the house to air conditioning. If they still are getting ahead of you and ripening too soon, then take them peel them, put them in a plastic bag, suck out the air, put them in the freezer. Every day we take, throw them into the food processor, make a smoothie. So you can see, very popular, very easy, very fast, and they're very good for you. Actually, there's a chemical in bananas, serotonin, that actually relaxes you. So bananas actually can make you uh, easier going. So. It's a win-win situation, so I suggest you come and go bananas with us. Come to our nursery and homestead. We're open every day but Sunday, 9 to 4.30. Call and uh, come by and I'll give you a little tour of going bananas.